All right, everybody, this is Shake and Bake from www.shakespub.net. I am on Planet Explorers. This is an indie game that is in alpha uh, phase right now. It's due to come out here, though, I think at the end of this month on Steam or probably beginning of March, but very soon. And so I've been on this game. I have played for hours, and... I'm not going to be able to tell you everything about this game and show you everything in this game in one video. So there, I will be doing a series of videos. In this video, I'm just going to kick it off with what this game has to offer in a nutshell and uh, why if you're looking for something fresh and new in, in kind of the exploration genre, both uh, single player uh, and creative modes, adventure modes, this kind of uh, you can do co-op and multiplayer, I mean, this is crazy, and there's a beautiful story, um, you know, that it's nothing against, like, the zombie games, the survival games, you know, so everything's got zombies coming to you. This is just nice and refreshing. That I, You know, it's just the sounds of the music in this game, the atmosphere, there's just something really, really magical about it, and you really feel like uh, you've, you're a colonist in the future who's been stranded on this planet with some other survivors, and you're trying to figure it out. You're trying to survive. And um, let me show you uh, what I've created so far. Uh, one thing you learn quickly is you want to kind of create a safe haven for your uh, character in this game. Look how just fantastic this looks and sounds. It is so relaxing to play this game. Um, yet you know, the sense of adventure is there. I just love it. I, and what I really love about this game as well is, you know, my kids could play this. You know, it really is just a magical type of exploration game. And, and it's just, again, really unique. And the other part that's hard to believe, this looks fantastic. It's on the Unity engine. No slam against the Unity engine, but I did not know it could do large open areas, environments like this, this well. Looks fantastic. All right, let's go in here and check out Shake's crib I started building today. I got my bed here. I could I could take a nap if I wanted to, sleep a little bit. Yes, I dug all of this out uh, with a shovel and pick, pickaxe, and it uh, it was not easy, but I did it, and at the same time was able to gather some resources. Here's like my little observation deck. I could look out into the beautiful sunset of this planet. So let's talk about the overview of this game. All right, so they're going to have a story mode. That's what I'm in right now. Now, talk about uh, this is, uh, there's action, adventure, it's, you know, RPG. Um, there's NPCs that give you missions, uh, town building, farming, uh, diplomacy, all of this stuff. And uh, here's, check this out, the map. <laughs> this is ridiculous. 17 by 8 kilometers, okay? 17 by 8 kilometers kilometers and when you start to wander out into that world man i'm telling you i thought i like saw most everything around every corner uh over some hill i see something else that i had not seen yet and it's just incredible um what else uh there's a, an adventure mode well let's talk back to the story mode so basically it is survival you got to gather goods out in this environment and there are animals and creatures you can kill and meat kind of serves as um your money basically for buying new goods and trading right, let's get back out here i'm gonna pick my bed back up because one thing i learned if you don't take your bed with you i've not figured out how to um i'll tell you what let's actually sleep so we can get it back to daytime well, you got at night there there's these big old cockroaches man these big old beetles that come after you and it's just a pain in the butt all right here we go let's get out of bed it looks like it might still be dark ah it is well, it looks like the sun might be starting to come up. Uh, let's go ahead and put on our... I think I can get my headlight on here real quick. Yeah. There we go. Got my lamp on. Sun should be coming up here soon. What time is it? Yeah. Let's go down here. Um, so, again, hunting, gathering, wood. If you want to build all this kind of stuff, I'm going to show you in a minute here. If you want to build... Uh, you got to gather uh, resources. Yeah, I'm going to show you something here. This was, I didn't know this until earlier. This is a really, really cool feature. 
Um, I'm going to pull up here. There's this is. Um, let me find it. Actually, there is a uh, meteor, uh, a crater where a meteor had hit, and it's rich in all kinds of minerals. It's over here. I want to show you something. Real, look around and just take that in. And this you got that relaxing music. Uh, this is definitely a game you could play for hours and hours and hours. Uh, just full of exploration. Uh, you can relax. You, you know, you got you don't got zombies coming after you. Uh, if you play the uh, story mode, you have to worry about uh, kill on sight by, you know, crazies. Or you can play co-op, play with your buddies, and just explore this world. Um, but I want to show you something cool. So when I was digging, I thought, you know, i got to find a bunch of different minerals. How do I do that? So you come down here, you bring up this PC, and you do a scan, right? And so here I am. I'll zoom in. There's old shake right there, right? And let's say I'm looking for gold. I'm going to do the scan of the area. And check this out. Did I get all the gold from there? Maybe I did. Let's try um, copper. There. Now check this out. So the scan tells you like where stuff is at underground and relationship to where you're at. Check that out. So I know to dig over there and I'd find that stuff. I just want to check on the gold again because I swore there was some gold here. Yeah, there it is. There's that gold. i got to get that gold at some point. I just thought that was a really cool feature. And that's just one of the many. That is just pretty amazing. Um, there's an adventure mode. Are you ready for this? So this is a procedural map generated from a seed. It currently comes in 40 by 40. Yeah, 40 by 40 kilometer map. That's crazy. And basically, you know, you hook up with, uh, with NPCs. And you go off and you do missions, you defeat bosses, you explore this huge landscape. I'm going to show you that little that here in a little bit. And then this build mode where it's kind of like Minecraft. Uh, infinite amount of supplies and resources. Again, uh, 40 by 40 kilometer map. And uh, you build whatever you want. There's no nasty creatures to kill you. You just have fun. It's basically like um, uh, whatever they call that Minecraft uh creative mode you know same concept which is pretty cool uh multiplayer they're gonna have co-op in this uh and a versus mode so should be pretty cool but i'm telling you what the, this single player story mode i'm mean, playing this i think for months uh, is incredible uh, let's talk about um the different features here i'm looking at the uh ui here let me let me turn my light off here real quick look at this we got the sun coming up that's just fantastic Let's head towards the sunrise. Um, so you've got your character here. This is an area you can look at the character and take some features off and close and stuff. Uh, down here you've got your quick slots here for the different stuff you want to carry on you. Uh, real easy to use. And then you've got these uh, missions that you get from the NPCs that you can choose to follow, not follow. You can do none of them if you want. Um, and with each of those missions you get something from them if you do it. Um, and at some point they'll team up with it and you can go out together. When you're out here, you want to, you can, uh, gather resources, like I said earlier, and these are plants, uh, animals, uh, trees. Like if I come up to this tree right here, um, and get out my trusty ax, just come up here and whack away, chop this tree down, gather some wood. And I'm going to show you what that looks like here in a minute in the builder mode. Alright, so there. So I got me some resin, some wood. Uh, let me get this while I'm at it. There we go. And so basically you start to gather all these resources. And here's this inventory. I love actually the inventory. I think it works really well. Uh, you got your items here. All kind of mixture of things. Let's see how my health is doing. A little stamina. And certain things obviously give you health, stamina, and, and different abilities. Um, some of them you can trade. Uh, like the meat here again can be used for trading. Um, equipment, I got my equipment in here, and my resource. So this is where it comes down to building, okay? And all of these are resources I can use. I got my arrows here because those will eventually run out. Um, but what's other thing about this is really cool is you come in here now, and here's these scripts that I've unlocked, basically, or acquired or bought. And once you get these, let's say I wanted, um, I don't know, let's say some herbal juice, okay? And I want one. I come in here. If I got the right uh, crafting materials, I'm good to go. I make it. 
I'm all set. I come into my inventory here, and there it is. I'm going to have me some juice. It's that simple. Really easy to use. Uh, quick, you know, quick to learn it. It didn't take me long at all. And I don't normally play these kind of games. Um, and then, where else? I want to show you something else here. Okay, there's a creation system. Now, I, I'm not going to talk about this because I still need to learn this. But you actually can come in here and build different things. I mean, you can build with all different kinds of materials. You can... Where's it at? All right. A sword, a shield, a gun, a vehicle, small, large, an aircraft. So you can build all kinds of... And I'll, I'll go over this once I learn it. Oh, hell. Okay, we got a little battle coming on. I was so busy talking here. I'm going to uh, get my sword out. And I'm going to take on this... Uh, bird here. I took one out earlier. I gotta get uh, my sword out here. Hold on. I mean my shield here. There it is. I mean, and this is the thing when you roam around the side. Some creatures are um, friendly unless you mess with them. And some are just downright nasty. You know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch to my bow here. And see if I can shoot this guy down. Now the camera system, this is I, 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 it works for me, but this is where it get it gets a little wonky is when you kind of get in that view. You can zoom into first person view, or back it out to third person. Um, you have these revives, and this is something you can use as well. Which you know, oh, hold on a second. Let me see if I can get this. Uh, keep moving here. I love the music in this game. Uh, it's just, got him. And I'm, look at that thing, man. It's just incredible. Real, again, really creative creatures in this game. I just love how different it is. And when you're roaming this just um, massive landscape, you run into these kind of creatures. And, you know, first you're a little freaked out. But, like, these guys, they won't mess with you unless you mess with them. Uh, then it's game on. Uh, let me get some health going here real quick. That was for my stamina. I got some... Uh, the juice is good for your health. There we go. Shake is healed. I mean, look at this creature over here. I mean, look at this thing coming. I definitely am not going to mess with him. Let's keep going this way. We'll kind of go towards the coast here. Uh, this guy... These Now, these guys are pretty aggressive right here. So, I'm just going to take him out real... Uh, blocked out my shield. And I, I mean, <laughs> I don't know what that thing is, but man. Um, all right, before I get distracted and start playing the game here too much and not telling you about it, let me get out of the way of this thing here. Look at these things. It's just, you know, I feel like almost a little kid when I play this, but in a good way, kind of like, um, you know, this this is like a good game. Like, uh, yeah, there's, you know, you're, there's dinosaurs and things like that, but you kind of feel like a kid exploring this um, foreign planet, you know, and uh, I don't know. It just feels good. Again, I, I definitely would let my kids play this game uh, for a lot of reasons. I love the color, the sounds, and it just has a real, real magical feel to it. And again, you could play this probably for months and still not explore the whole area. All right, so let's talk about something that's really cool. And this is the building. So this is kind of like, uh, obviously, like Minecraft. And you come in here, actually, let me pull it, go into building mode. And this is building mode, so it's real easy to use once you get the hang of it, especially people who do like Minecraft. Uh, if, you, if you hit your F key, uh, it turns off your player, and now you're kind of this free build mode like this. And really easy to build. You come in here, and uh, there's a lot of options. Like right now, I could change this. I don't want to use too much of my stuff. Um, but, you know, I could do blocks of two like this. And if you hold your CTRL control key, you know, I can make a floor that quick, just like that. Um, and again, it's basically like Minecraft. Um, you've got all of your different material materials here you can use. And you get all these materials, obviously, from the world. Uh, I'm going to do Shift Z and undo that. It's that simple. So, you know, the sky's the limit. It all comes down to your imagination and what you want to do. Let's get out of builder uh, mode here, just in case uh, this uh, stuffed 
big rabbit thing comes after me. Uh, these are probably one of my favorite creatures so far. I love this thing, like this giraffe-looking thing. And was, what's crazy is I actually been attacked one time, and one of these things actually came and saved me and started taking out the creature that I was attacking me. It was pretty wild. Um, so there is, again, the builder mode. Let me get... Uh, I can't help but keep playing the game while I'm talking because it's just that much fun. Um, where, again, you can build as much as you want. And you can obviously go into build mode where there's no uh, creatures who are going to kill you. And you can and unlimited resources. You can just build away, basically like creative mode in uh, Minecraft. Um, again, this is totally maxed out on my system. I'm getting great frame rates. Uh, when there's a lot of... Um, creatures around or, or you're fighting and especially in the woods the frame rates do drop a little bit again this is the alpha version so i'm sure they're going to make improvements on that um i think i already showed you uh, me chopping down a tree uh i'm getting close to the uh coastline there is like an ocean out here and you can swim in the water so that is pretty cool it's pretty fun and there are i think fish and animals in the water as well and again it looks fantastic day night weather cycles uh, earlier today, it got rained on. It was crazy, a big old storm. Um, let me show you real quick as far as... Uh, uh, let me get this guy. Ah, come get it. I could use a little yeah. more meat. Got him. Um, hold on a second here. Let me get... Uh, <laughs> yeah, I get it so hard. When I make these videos, you know, I, I feel like, oh, I'm going to talk right through it. I get to play and I forget to tell you guys things. So let's talk about um, if you want to go ahead and mine a little bit. Let me get my uh, pickaxe uh, out here. And this is really easy. And your your uh, tools do wear out over time, and you have to rebuild them. Um, again, having the right materials to do that. And as you just go through here, you start gathering all kinds of uh, minerals and things that you can use uh, in other combinations to make other things or obviously to sell. That simple. And here's what's cool. Like, like the house I built. I mean, if you wanted to, you could dig through this whole damn rock. Yeah, make your own cave, tunnel system. Again, your imagination is the only limitation on what you do in this game. Again, you could choose to come in here and not do any of the missions for the NPCs. Oh, damn. Uh, let's see if old Shaky can take this guy out here. I, You know, I don't think there's any way, but... Oh, I need my shield. Let me see if I can play. <laughs> yeah! I mean, I had, I've not taken one of these down. Uh, but I tell you what, if I do, it might be pretty nice for old Shaky getting some good stuff from this. All right, so I'm down. But, you know, I got a couple hits on him. Let me see if I can take this guy down. Hold on. <laughs> this guy's a brute. Yeah. Oh, I think, uh, I don't know, I don't know. I'm, and I'm hitting on this guy's head. He's got all his armor. And it looks like I was out of revive, so I cannot revive myself there, I don't think. I may jump. It may bring me back there. Let's see what happens here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, fast travel. Actually, I'm, I am back uh, at at the uh, one of the camps where there are other um, where their NPCs are, other survivors from the crash land on the planet. And again, what you can do with these guys what? is uh, you can shop all kinds of things you can buy, and uh, you can uh, come up to these guys and uh, work together. You can do quests, side quests, or choose not to just explore this incredible world. Um, let me pull this back up and fast travel. It does cost you to fast travel. Uh, and again, it's meat is basically the currency. Um, so this is just the Kickstarter, basically the opening video uh, from Shake of, again, um, Planet Explorers. I am so glad I came across this game. And uh, <laughs> I mean... Again, the depth of this, I'm really excited to see the full release and the, and the continued work they do on it. Um, it is just fantastic. And again, I love the qualities about this game. They really come together 
uh, in this magical way. I mean, you really feel like you're on this unexplored planet um, trying to survive, but it's not just, you know, killing and, and those, you know, the gathering, the building, uh, the interacting with the NPCs, you know, all of that stuff. Um, and it's just a refreshing change. So this is Shake and Bake. Uh, definitely more footage coming from this, especially as I learn more about the game, especially when the final release comes out. Check it out. There is a free demo you can play. I advise you to play it and try it. Um, again, this should be coming out in Steam here in the next couple of weeks. Uh, if you've got any questions or you want to see certain things, just post in the comments. And again, I appreciate the support, the likes, and the subs. And this is Shake and Bake. I'll see you on Planet Explorer.